Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change your version of Classic Press from uh, one to another, whether you want to downgrade or you want to simply upgrade it. And we'll be using the Switch to Classic Press uh, plugin that you can actually get from uh, classicpress.net website. Uh, I used it to, I used this plugin before to change my WordPress site into Classic Press. And you can find that video by just clicking here, uh, by getting the link that is above here in the video. Let's dive in. So we can see right now here that there is a new release of Classic Press, which is uh, version 1.1. It's just uh, uh, it's a major release which has uh, a couple of things uh, in it there. So in the new changes uh, from version where there was a patch version, version 2. Uh, in the new version, uh, which is uh, 1.1, we see that uh, there's a new top level security page in the administration screen that will allow uh, different plugin um, developers just ha uh, plug in and add their content right there. So as part of uh, the, ma the minor changes and fixes, uh, it's just updating a, a couple of files that stay when you migrate from WordPress, jQuery improvements, uh, some link changes in the about us page, um, something to do with uh, XML RPC API, a uh, little PHP notice, removing the role navigation from uh, pagination elements. Uh, this is something that uh, is just a, a little text in HTML that had to be removed. And then changing a couple of links in the WP config file. So nothing much that would break your site uh, if you are considering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link uh, from uh, the, the repository on GitHub. And what I'm going to do is I'll just come back into my, my site and then go to the switch to classic press. So um, I'm going to use an advanced feature. Uh, in the switch to classic press plugin and by doing that I'm just going to go hit control and I'm going to put in the link uh, of the particular build that I want so this essentially means I can always downgrade or upgrade depending on uh, what I want to do so this is something nifty about uh, the switch to classic press plugin so what I'm going to do is uh, just hit do the custom migration now and I will wait for my internet to fix this. Alright, so our our classic press has been updated to the right uh, version of um, the classic press 1.1. Uh, so I'm going to just check out the new security page. And when I look at it, of course, it's going to tell us uh, what Classic Press is all about. So it's about being security first, and they give you a little blab about what this is about. And then uh, it's, of course, if I had some plugins that are in here, it would actually tell me the ones that need updating. Uh, so there's another section also for the developers. And once you hit this and you go, you'll be able to see how you can add your security settings into um, what is already existing here. Uh, so this works out very well. It will allow our different users to know that all my security things are just plugged in in one location. And of course you'll get the notices. So I think this is a, a good thing uh, that Classic Press is doing. So how do you find Classic Press? Let me know in the comment section. Oh, you could let them know. You could let the developers know at Classic Press that either they're doing a good job or they're slacking off and they need to step up on what needs to be done. Thank you for watching the channel. Enjoy your coding. Enjoy your site. Enjoy your blogging. And bye-bye.